Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also have a bunch of other lifestyle, mom content, cooking, decor, fashion, beauty, any of that type of stuff and all of that type of stuff. So if any of it strikes your fancy, I'd love it if you stuck around. And if you haven't followed me already, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram and all of that stuff will be down for you below. But um, I couldn't move on to my newer uh, New Year 2023 content without doing my what I got my kids for Valentine's Day or Valentine's um, gift ideas for your little ones. I think this is my fifth year doing this, um, which is kind of insane. So if you are looking for different ages, I have all the way from like a baby infant till now, which um, my I have two daughters and my oldest Olive just turned eight and my youngest Eleanor will be six in March so we have been doing it since Eleanor was born um, so we have quite the age range if you're looking for some good ideas so don't forget to check out my little playlist I will have it linked below um, not below above or here um, wherever it is it will be there for you to reference if you're looking for different ages or you just want to take a gander back in time um, so, like I said, I have two daughters, um, Olive and Eleanor, and as they've gotten older, it's been getting trickier and trickier to find some gift ideas for them, um, but it's also been getting a lot more fun because they have definitely defined their little personalities, and they like now, you know, to do different things um, than when they were little, and so it's just exciting. So, um, I will try to make sure I have everything linked down below for you guys if you want to shop it. I'm also going to share in this video um, what they are giving for their Valentines to their friends at school, as well as a little Valentines I make up for their teachers. Um, their teachers work so hard, um, and we are so thankful for them and their school, and they deserve to be appreciated. It's nothing big, it didn't cost very much money, um, but I I always like to give their teachers a little something to kind of um, you know cheer up their day and let them know that we appreciate them and we see all their hard work so I think I'm gonna share you with you guys the teacher stuff first um, so first off I got um, two of these sticky pads or um, sticky notes and the notepads from Walmart um, they always come you know the little celebrating ways to celebrate um, brand always has the current season and holiday i think i got pads like this similar during halloween that were really cute and so now i'm going if they've used them all up we're gonna go for um valentine's day apparently this is a women-owned brand which is pretty cool anyway um this is good vibes little cute little just a little notepad this is for eleanor's teacher she's a kindergartner and then i got best teacher ever um for olive i think they both picked these out for their teachers so um these were just a dollar at walmart and then we also picked up they both wanted to get these uh for them um i've never felt so much love for you but these are sugar sugar rust gel pens smell so sweet they're just cute fun for grading fun for for the makers of centos um just little fun little pens for their teachers uh, these were 2.98 also in the valentine section at walmart so each of them are getting that. And they also wanted to get them a nail file because they had nail file accessories. So I believe this little black and white heart one is for Eleanor's teacher. And then this pretty floral one is for Ollie's teacher. So they each will get a nail file emery board. As well as I found these, I wanted to get them some claw clips um, because I've seen both of their teachers wear claw clips recently just kind of get into that and really enjoy it. And so I thought it would be nice to get them a pack of claw clips. So I actually found these at Target these are from the a new day brand and i believe that these were probably for like a holiday like stocking stuff for gift set but they still had tons of them and they were all marked down like really low so these were only three dollars and they were originally ten dollars so i thought this was absolutely a score they had a bunch of different colors but these were the most neutral um you know some these are a little fun and sparkly but i thought that'd be like fun for a date night um if they wanted to do that but just kind of like a grayish black Kind of translucent with some glittery um, sparkles in it and this one's just a really pretty kind of like tortoise shell kind of 
brown. Um, so I just thought those were pretty neutral little ones and we'll just stick those in their little gift bags. So that's how I got their teachers. Um, they, I know, get lots of snacks and stuff throughout the year so I didn't get them anything like edible, but just like some fun little things, little Valentine to let them know we appreciate them. So for the Valentine section that the girls are giving away this year, um, in the years past, I've made Valentines, I've made hair bows, I've made um, bracelets before, we've done like all the fun DIY Valentines. They were so much fun to make the hair bows. I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, but as the girls got older, they have want their own things, so I let them pick what they wanted. Um, so this year, Ollie picked out uh, these from um, Walmart. So they got both of their like Valentines from Walmart, from the uh, Way to Celebrate brand. These are the little squishy puppies. So they come with um, little mojo, moj moj, or little squishy little, you know what I'm talking about, those little thingies. Um, and then two different types of Valentines that they can give out. You're so cute, I could just squish you or squishing you a happy Valentine's Day. Um, there's six of them here for $3.48, so we got three boxes. Next year, um, their classes are going to increase kind of dramatically in size. Um, albeit too much protest from a lot of parents that go to, or that are a part of this elementary school, but so we're trying to, you know, make it a little more special this year because I'm sure that next year I do not want to spend like 50 bucks on Valentine's. Anyway, um, Eleanor's picked out pop, uh, popables, popple, pop bracelets, pop, poppets, poppets, but little poppets. I mean, these things are like so gosh darn popular right now and every kid loves them. So um, she is obsessed with them as well. And these also had six of them in there and they were 348 and it just says um pop just popping by to say happy valentine's day and there's a pink a yellow and a blue um and so she got those and then to go along with them i got two packs of these sour patch kids lollipops with sour candy dipping powder these were on sale like i think um target always does their like holiday giftable things early like they will have like a big sale on them so everything like a lot of their candies for valentine's classroom candy was like already 25 percent off so i picked these up and in each pack includes a lollipop and dip so it's kind of like fun dip but i just thought they were kind of different and fun so we will get some washi tape and tape them on the back of each of those valentines so those are what the kids are giving to their friends for valentine's day this year and that's what we're giving our, their teachers so now let me show you what i'm giving them all right, we are gonna start with Olive um, because it's right next to me. Like I said before, Olive is my oldest. She is eight years old. And a lot of the stuff this year, as for her birthdays and Christmas and stuff, I feel like she's getting older and she's getting more interested in more like fun, like tweeny type of things. Um, and so a lot of that will reflect that. But again, if you're looking for younger ages, definitely go back on my um, gift guide playlist and I have so many variations in there for all different age groups um, but I'm excited to share this year's first things first though something I always get them every single year is some sort of like cup or eating utensil or something like that which I know sounds so silly but it's a way for me to kind of like refresh and restock up on a lot of our stuff that just has gotten old throughout the years because we use their cups and their plates and their spoons and forks until they're literally falling apart and just like broken and gross um and so this year i got them cups so this is from target dollar spot but i will say that i think i did see these also at walmart because they are the zach brand um but this was at target for three dollars in the dollar section we like i said use their cups until they're literally broken and cracked and falling apart and we have a number of them from when they were still toddlers that they've still been using and they're just getting gross and i'm worried that they're gonna like choke on them in a second because they've just been used so much and so i just picked up these little cute little ones they love seasonal cups and the re the one i like these ones this year because the seasonal cups aren't like super super flimsy sometimes you get that really cheap plastic that just doesn't last it ends up just being wasteful and a waste of money and so i like how thin or thicker I like how thick and sturdy this cup feels. They did have a couple of different designs, but the one that I got all of was XOXO Sweetie. Um, and like I said, this was from Target, but I do believe that I also saw these at Walmart, but just like a cute, fun Valentine cup. Um, I also picked up both of the girls a little headband, a little like, you know, 
push your hair out of your face, wash and headband slash makeup headband. The girls got a bunch of makeup and stuff for Christmas this year to have fun and explore with. And I've also been into kind of washing their face and putting some moisturizer on. And so um, they have been borrowing my little headbands. Um, and so I decided to get them each one this year. Uh, I got all of this one, which just like screams Valentine's Day to me. It's so cute and light baby pink. Um, and this one has little wires, um, which before I always thought was just like a cute little bow, but I've since learned from TikTok that you're actually supposed to put it on like this. So this would be the top at top of your head. And then this folds around your ponytail and your hair to keep it from falling um, when you're washing your face and getting it in the cleanser and water, or just to keep your hair completely away from your face when you are doing your makeup and stuff. I just think that's brilliant. So if you didn't know that, that's a little tip. Anyway, but it's just really cute. So I got this one for Ollie. And then um, the girls have been really into fake nails, specifically Eleanor. She's like fake nail obsessed. She just wants all the press on nails. She got some for Christmas and has been obsessive since. And since Eleanor got them and is really liking them. Ollie's been asking for some. So I actually got these um, Impress Mini Press on Manicure Nails from Walmart. I think these were actually on clearance for like a couple bucks. Um, but these are just really pretty pastel. pastel. <laughs> My Texan Southern drawl coming out. Pastel. Pastel um, little press on nails. Um, and like I said, Eleanor has been obsessed. And so Ollie's been like, well, I want some now. And these are really awesome, this particular line because they are very small so they fit really really well on kids nail beds which I find helps them last a little bit longer and they're not super long so they can wear them for a while like all Eleanor wore her to school for like a solid like three or four days like they lasted quite a long time and um, she was obsessed with them so she's been asking for more and so is Olive so I found um, a pack of these so she is getting that and now we're gonna move on to the accessories portion of it and then I will share all the other fun stuff. Um, but they have both been so into accessorizing with uh, hair barrettes, hair clips, headbands with necklaces. Like they get, they've gotten really, really, really into that. They got um, a number of things for Christmas that they really liked and they have since used them nonstop. And I just think it's really fun for them to kind of like accessorize their outfits. And so um, I picked up a couple of things for them to do that. Um, I picked up this set of little heart clips um, and they just come in these really pretty pastel colors. Olive is obsessed with just like soft pastel like pretty colored things. She's not really into like super dark or like super dramatic or intense things. She likes the soft really pretty gentle like things little dainty things so these are each just different clips of course like I said uh, before I will have everything linked below but these are just like some really pretty like heart valentine's clips I also got her a pack of little clips that are in that same kind of pastel color shades um, and these are just little heart clips and we use these to like you know when they have little pigtails or a lot of times with clips like these I like to braid their hair and put um, the clips alongside the braids and just looks really pretty and that's what I will do with this set which are these like embroidered little flowers and clips and they're really really small um, again a bunch of pastels but they're perfect to kind of put in their little braids that I do um, and just kind of like have like these little pops and fun accessories around their hair so I got her a pack of these which like I said are just these really pretty embroidered ones and then I didn't realize I got both <laughs> packs but whatever I also got her a set of more embroidered kind of lace style clips um, and but they're kind of big you know regular what 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 are these called like clips what are these clips called I can't ever remember whatever you know the snap clips anyway they come in a bunch of different colors Ollie's obsessed with floral print everything so most of her clothes fit this color scheme so um, these will fit perfectly in her hair and the girls end up sharing their hair accessories and their um, you know jewelry as well but just so you know particularly picking out for each individual kid and then um her other or her last hair accessory i thought this is this is absolutely absolutely so beautiful i got this really pretty headband and um it has this like floral embroidery or not floral i guess so it's kind of like this really pretty vine embroidery on it that has um 
like gold thread running through it and then this really pretty like rose or peony i'm the worst with flowers or anything botany anyway um just so beautiful i just this like i think is so stunning and would look so pretty for easter as well like just such a beautiful headband so i got that one for ollie and then her accessories um like necklaces and stuff i got her this pack of chokers and it looks like this okay let me, let me open it because that's gonna shine back in your face but um i got her these pack of chokers again she just like soft like very dainty kind of accessories and so this comes actually in a little pack of three actually two these are just connected right here so there are two little heart chokers this one right here is um, like a little almost like mermaid kind of style it's like iridescent little um, ribbon and like a mermaid scale heart and then this one is actually like a little two for set so this really pretty pink sparkly soft pink uh, choker and then it has this pretty um, velvety heart in it as well and then like a gold chain underneath just really really pretty i don't know if you can see any of that i'm blind as a bat and i need to go to the eye doctor because i can't tell if it's blurry or not anyway um so i got her a pack of those i actually would love if you have any good jewelry cases that you would recommend they have one from like jewelry boxes and just like jewelry organization they have one from when they were i think ollie actually got it um when she was like two or three from my mom and i want to keep it because it's sentimental and it was a gift for my mom but it's just not cutting it anymore because they have so many accessories because that's something they really like and uh they were and they're both been sharing it and it's just like a tiny little, little bit of kids one so if you have a good recommendation of like a pretty jewelry box that's not that it's like more kid friendly um i don't know just let me know because i'm looking for that has like a quite a bit of room let me know i also got this pack for ollie i just think this is so pretty it comes with two necklaces and they're pressed flowers inside so this one is a heart and has some really pretty pressed you able to see that i don't know let's see this one is just a heart it has some really pretty pressed flowers inside of it oh i think it's so pretty and we'll go with so many things that she has and then this one is like a little crystal style uh one and also has this really pretty pressed flower inside as well just so pretty i love them i think she's gonna like them a lot too so those are her last accessories and then we are moving on to some clothes for ollie's clothes um first off actually for her valentine's day outfit that she's gonna wear on valentine's day i picked up this really pretty um like blouse that has like a peter pan collar to it and it's just basic Peter Pan this is really hard to show you a white shirt <laughs> um, but it has just this really pretty Peter Pan collar and little poofy ruched sleeves um, it's just a really pretty blouse but I got it to go under this adorable vest how cute is this gosh darn vest it is so gosh darn cute anyway it looks adorable on her she can wear this without anything underneath it but I think this together is absolutely adorable she has a white little tennis skirt that she got for her birthday that would look really cute underneath it but depending on the weather because you never know in texas right now it's literally frozen tundra outside we had terrible like ice days so we have been home, stuck at home the past number of days but um so she may have to wear pants or she may end up lucking out and getting a warm day and get to wear it with a skirt but she will have uh, she will wear that on Valentine's Day. And then I also picked up this really pretty waffle knit style um, top that has roses on it. Again, like she is just obsessed with everything floral. So everything I got her is floral. Um, but I got this on clearance like for $7.50 um, at Kohl's, I believe and um but i had like kohl's cash because whenever you not kohl's cash 
essentially, I guess it's cool cash, or when you, five dollars off of anything when you take back stuff to Amazon. And so I paid two fifty, well, like three something with some with tax. But anyway, super cute, cozy little warm um, shirt, which will be nice for her now, but also big enough what she can wear next year. And then um, I picked up this little. Didn't realize it was as cropped as it was, but it's okay because she wears high-waisted pants and then um, she has tons of little cardigans to go over it. But this really adorable little um, crop top and it has like fun ruffly straps and this really pretty bow tie up front. And it's just yellow and adorable and I thought this would look really pretty on her. Um, and she can have that. And then I also found this, this is not her color palette, so we'll see how she likes it. But I found it on clearance at Target for $6.60. It was originally $22. And I just thought it was so pretty. It's the, totally the type of cut that she likes, but just not the type of color scheme. But I'm hoping she still really likes it. But I just thought it was so pretty. And Target has been having the best clearance sections lately for just like that's where I got most of her like Christmas clothes and birthday clothes because they were like three bucks, two bucks, six bucks. So I found that one, I just thought it was so adorable. And then lastly, for her clothes, this is a lot of spring clothes and stuff just to kind of get her started. Um, but I found these jeggings that were on sale at Walmart for seven dollars, and um, they're just basic light jeggings but they're wide um little flares at the end and i just thought they looked so cute on her she is a tiny little short thing though she is still under four feet she has been getting so close to four feet but she is like only an 11th percentile on her height she's just this tiny itty bitty thing so we'll see if they these are a little bit too long on her i'm of high hopes but i just think they're absolutely adorable um and they were on sale for seven dollars like i said it's funny because eleanor is like in the I think like 70 something percentile for height and she has like super duper duper long legs and then ollie is in that 11th percentile for height and she's like this tiny like little short <laughs> short little legs um and it's just it's funny how they're polar opposites but um i also picked up this blouse from for her at walmart for 14.98 this was like i think a newer release but it's just so pretty and happy and i love the purple color um and i thought this would look adorable on her i did size up she fits typically in wonder nation a size small a six this is a seven eight um but it is 100 percent cotton and so i i'm sure it's gonna shrink so i decided to size up just in case but like how cute is that i just love that together a little wide leg and everything anyway lastly for olive um super smalls which is a kids like accessory line um a little small kids line not small kids kids they are typically small kids line um and they sell the cutest cutest things um i have taken a gander for a long time and wanted to order for them and i planned on ordering last christmas and missed the deadline for the girls not that they needed more stuff but the, this brand is the cutest thing ever and so um they were nice enough to reach out and i was so excited to want they wanted to send some like fun things for the girls and so um this is for ollie this is the super smalls ultimate sticker book and i just she's obsessed with stickers i've shown you guys her sticker collections of things that we've bought for the past number of like birthdays and christmases and stuff like that she loves stickers and um so i knew and she doesn't have any stickers like these but also i think they would be so fun to do for like makeup super smalls does sell like um like crystal uh like full-on little gem kits for your face but i figured these would be perfect also for that um so this had like these really beautiful little flowers this was just fun kind of stars and hearts and then these really beautiful these may be a little bit too big <laughs> for face but beautiful unicorns and rainbows and butterflies and then this was fun um these are rhinestone letters and then some more really fun gems and crystals and um 
I, as you can tell, love my gems, and so they have been wanting to do it too, so I thought this would be perfect for them to have fun and test it out with. So I'm sure she'll share this with her sister, but this is um, for Olive. Okay, the last thing that I got for Ollie hasn't come in the mail yet, but she has been getting really, really, really into Pokemon, um, which is so funny because that was something my brother and I just loved, and I didn't realize there was still such a cult following, but it is still huge. And so um, she's been really, really into it lately. And so my brother was so sweet enough and he gave her all of his Pokemon cards that he has been saving um, since we were kids. He's been just like having them in his, you know, collection. Um, he doesn't play anymore or anything, but just, you know, just you, can't, you keep your things that were sentimental to you. And it's a huge collection. And so he ended up giving them all to her and she was so excited about it. So as she starts to learn more, she's been watching this show. She's just been so into it. So I decided to get her a um, like full book uh, what I keep saying workbook and I'm just not what the thing is like encyclopedia kind of what is it called like just a companion of basically um, a breakdown of a lot of the popular Pokemon and their abilities and all that type of stuff just like a big guide handbook sort of thing anyway this one is the one that's like the top rated one on Amazon and so um, I ordered it and I've been waiting to film this video for that to come in as long as well as something for Eleanor but then the ice of the heck hit texas and everything shuts down so it is not in but i will include the picture um but i think this is a perfect gift um for her and any pokemon lover in your life or a little kid who's just starting to get into pokemon um i think it's just like a really fun gift idea now we are moving on to eleanor and like i said she is about to be six and she is in kindergarten and here is her little um valentine's day outfit this is something that she picked out and is just obsessed with and she looks so cute but so extra it makes me think of lady gaga anyway <laughs> it's this really adorable um white ribbed blouse it's like a little mock neck and it has this little embroidered uh, patch heart on it and these intense puffy giant sleeves this is what makes me think of lady gaga it's just like really bold um but i love it it's so eleanor and then it came with this really adorable little uh faux leather skirt um a little bow on it and just really really cute has a nice little pocket right here and looks absolutely adorable on her so again if it's you know warm enough she doesn't have to wear tights underneath it but if it's a little bit too chilly out then she will uh have some tights underneath but just adorable so cute and fun and very very bold valentine's day look for her so for her cup she's getting the same style cup but hers is a donut and it says you you me donuts and i love the donut up top it's just adorable again a nice little cup from target's dollar spot um and i really like these i think they're so cute this year i also got her a little um headband to use for washing except hers doesn't have a little wire bow part um but really cute little light pink and white little checkered style uh wrap it is kind of small and she has a massive head my little love bug has a giant old head um just like i do just like her sister and um so we'll see hopefully it's not gonna be too tight but it's just absolutely adorable so i got that one for her and then for her accessories oh i also got she also has a pack of the mini um impress nails the same ones these are eight six seven seven five i know that they come in a bunch of different prints i just wish i could tell you the actual like name of them because they normally have like the full name i don't know anyway just the cute little same pastel ones and then for her i got her a bunch of accessories too these just fell out of the bag but i got her a bunch of little clips these are just tons of different little pretty pastel and neon colored clips um these are fun like little squigglies i love like the fun like organic style type of lines i just think they're really cute and I think she will look adorable in them. Again, her and her sister share, um, but these are the ones I'm giving specifically to her. 
I also got her a pack of more clips. I thought these were black and white. They're actually a deep brown and white, but from far away, I don't think you really can tell, but they come in a bunch of different clips. This one didn't come in it. Um, I got the separate. Next set of clips um, I got for her are so cute. Um, I thought these were black and white. They're actually a really deep brown and white, but from far away, I don't think you really can tell, um, but they're really, really cute. This little smiley face one didn't come with it, but I just clipped it on there just to show you guys, um, but I also got that one for her obviously as well but just some fun cute clips and then for her I also got her a headband and um, this is one I'm sure that they both are gonna want to share and it's so cute um, but it's just this pastel like chain style headband um, with just like fun rainbow colors Eleanor got a sweater for Christmas that looks just like this one. Ollie has a similar sweater. And so I just think this will be really cute and one that they both will really like. So, and it's nice and lightweight and doesn't feel like it's going to be digging in their head too much. So I like this one a lot. They're not someone who wears a lot of headbands yet. And so I'm interested to see if this is something that they'll like to wear um, or if they'd prefer to stick with clips. So for Eleanor's jewelry, I got her two necklaces. Um, I got her this really pretty or cute, very Eleanor, little flower, um, pink and white flower, like smiley face necklace. Um, it's just a little cute little choker bead necklace. It'll go with everything she has, but she loves anything that has smiley faces on it. I don't know if you could see the little smiley faces. But she loves anything that has little smiley faces on it. So, um, that is that one. And then I also got her this, which I love. And it kind of looks like a little kid made it, but in the best possible way. And it has like these like almost frosted beads on it, but it has like little flowers and butterflies and hearts. And I just think it's so pretty. Can you see that? I just think it's so pretty and perfect for springtime. Um, and so that, those are her two necklaces. And then I actually got her a pack of earrings. Um, she and her sister also love to wear earrings, but she got a strawberry outfit for Christmas. If you saw what I got my kids for Christmas video, and it has been one of her favorite things she owns and wants to wear, but she didn't get strawberry earrings and her sister got some from Claire's. And so I found these really cute little strawberry earrings that I just thought were adorable and would go perfect with her strawberry outfit. And then also these really cute, um, like heart sucker earrings. These are actually what I think I'm gonna give her for her to wear on Valentine's Day itself with her little Valentine outfit. I have some of these ones, but they're a lot larger. And so I just thought these were perfect for her. They're gonna be a little bit big, but she likes to be bold. Um, and then these are just some basic little silver hearts. These all came in a pack together. And then I love these. These are like little safety pins, but they have like pretty butterflies on them um, and you can actually open up the safety pin and take the butterflies off if you just want safety pin earrings but those are really pretty then we got some dangly butterflies little hoops that have butterflies dangles on them so just some really cute fun dangly earrings for her she loves a good earring if you saw my what i got my kids for christmas video or like what's in their christmas stocking you'll know that i got my kids um a lot of makeup this year and just for fun they love to um, do their makeup i love makeup and so it's something that they just really enjoyed getting into um and unfortunately eleanor was so excited about her blush but it she dropped it and it smashed everywhere and so um i've been trying to find a new blush for her that's in a little bit better and more safe packaging so i found this uh sweet cheeks blush trio um blush she like i said before is has a um deeper skin tone and it's absolutely beautiful this is probably i probably should have gone the next shade up this is a little bit deeper in person than i expected it to be um but i still think it's really really pretty and she looks beautiful and like purples and plums and like wine colors and so i think these will actually still be really pretty on her just a little bit of a safer kit too um so if she drops it it's not just gonna smash everywhere but this was her um little makeup item that i got for her so a couple of the clothes that i got her was this adorable little blue 
uh, t-shirt that has little ruffles on it. This was actually cropped as well. They did not know that. She, like I said, is very long. So we'll see if it shows her tummy, um, but I don't think it will. But if it does, then it's something she'll just have to wear at home and she can't wear it at school, but that's no big thing. But I just thought it was really cute. She loves the color blue and this just looks like Eleanor. So I got her that. And I also got her this set. Um, for Christmas, I got her something similar, which is like a little two piece lounge set. And she loves it she it's one of her favorite things to put on and so i thought that i would get her another one this is something that again she can't wear to school because it's a little crop top but when she does like to wear it she just wears like a long sleeve white t-shirt underneath it um, or just short sleeve one so that if she does want to wear this to school that's what she can do but this like two-tone print um little crop top butterfly and then it came with matching uh elastic sweatpants that also have some butterflies on the knees so and then they're little joggers and they just close at the bottom so these look really really big so we will see I thought the other ones were going to be really really big and they ended up working out really well for her so we we will find out but just something cute and comfortable to lounge in um, and if it works out she can wear it to school with a little shirt underneath it at Walmart I found when I found Ollie's purple shirt I found this one and again she loves anything that has emojis and smiley faces on it fuzz all over it sorry it's annoy me. there we go anyway um but they had a bunch of different prints of this but it's just kind of like a little shell with a little uh spaghetti strap underneath and then this cute like little shell cardigan thing that goes over it um i loved these sort of things when i was a kid i'm so glad they're coming back in style because i think they're so cute but this will be so pretty on her um and this was from walmart for 9.98 and i thought that was a pretty good price and then the jeggings were all on sale apparently because these were also only seven dollars and they were originally 10.98 and they are smiley faces <laughs> emojis all on them so perfect for her they will be perfect to match her little shirt and then she can wear one for a little her smiley face clips she likes to go full decked out so she can wear that smiley face clip with like this blue one or this cream one or something i don't know we'll figure it out we got it anyway absolutely adorable i think this will be so cute on her as well so those are the clothing items that i got her and then um super smalls sent her um which she's going to freak so again they have like so many fun accessories that are nice quality that aren't going to just like break and fall apart like a lot of like cheap kids um jewelry like costume and fun dress up jewelry can be and so they have a bunch of different collections but um this one is so cute so it comes with um these are all clip-on earrings so even if your little one doesn't have their ears pierced they can still have fun so we have these like full-on decked out gems and then this fun little heart necklace with little fun costume earrings I'm like i just think that's so cute and i love the packaging they just make me so happy it's just so adorable so this um is called i know they have names but i can't find it um big presentation mega jewelry set but i will have of course everything linked below and i will see if i can get a discount code for you guys as well don't make anything from this they have this is not sponsored they just wanted to send some things for the girls so um this is a set of what are these called opening night kids play hills heels if you guys have known i've in multiple of my gift guides i have purchased heels like little pretend heels for eleanor she loves these things um but i've had a hard time finding ones that aren't going to like pinch your little feet um because a lot of the ones you can find now are just really bad quality they i have a hard time finding like good play heels that aren't going to like pinch and actually this is i think how i found super smalls is i was looking for play heels at the time and um i don't think that they were going to get here in time or something i don't remember why i didn't order them now but i think this is how i found this company out because i was looking for heels that weren't going to pinch and rip up her feet like a lot of the other like cheapy ones will um and so i am so excited to finally get for these she is going to freak out and love them and like how cute together right just for when she still likes to play dress up which she's still very much into um i mean she's only five so very much her age these um shoes are perfect for ages three to six and my kids have smaller feet than the average uh, kid their age they have little gems in the actual heel 
like how adorable is that um and then there's really pretty little flower gems up top and this fun like little taffeta gauze adorable they're nice quality they aren't the ones that are already separating and pulling apart and they're not going to pinch your little feet and i love that they also have grippers on the bottom because these things get incredibly slippery and they have really nice like actual rubberized heel paddings and then right in the middle of the ball of the foot there's this rubberized pad um, because sometimes like i said these things can get really slippery especially if you have like um you know slippery floor and non-carpet anyway i cannot wait for her to have these she's going to freak out and just love them anyway i will have those linked for you as well below can't wait for her to open them she's going to freak out so cute thank you super smalls for sending her those she is going to love them and the last thing i got for eleanor is the thing that is coming in from amazon that has not arrived yet and that is a huge set of fake nails <laughs> she wants to go longer so even though i know she's going to be super pumped for the impressed nails she wants to go full-fledged like you know she knows what she wants she wants to be like the full claws you know and so i it's hard to find kid nails that are long <laughs> so i did find a big pack i think that they're going to be a little bit too large for her nail beds but it'll be fine they're for fun anyway so um but it comes in like a pack of five and they're just a bunch of fun like different designs on them they're super colorful and things and so i know she's going to love them and want to be wearing them non-stop so um those were the other thing that i picked up for her all right friends that is the end of this video i know that um a lot of people don't go all out and go crazy for their kids on valentine's day um i know for some of you you're gonna be like this is like christmas or a birthday or something i know that it gets a little overboard and goes a little crazy but i know it's something that they are going to absolutely love and appreciate i love to just like spoil my kids and make them feel so loved and a lot of these things are really practical items that they'll get a lot of use out of there's no toys or anything like that a lot of things that they'll just enjoy and they'll use so um but by all means like you pick out things that are fit that fit for your family if this is way too much you don't i'm not telling you to buy it but i just want to give you some good ideas for kids in those age ranges um if they are interested in these types of things as well so like i said i will have everything linked and shoppable for you down below and i hope that i gave you some good inspiration and um if you're looking for different ideas like i said check back on the years previous um i have lots i think like i think this is my fifth year to do this i'm late have to go back and look but i've done it for a while now <laughs> um and that is it that is going to be the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys are having a good start to your 2023 so far thank you for being so supportive of me and um just wanting to see the content i create i'm so thankful for every one of you i'm about to film um like a little try on haul so if you are been looking for some fun try on clothes videos i haven't filmed one in a minute i'm so excited to get back into that that is coming your way as well and i did like a fun um purple makeup look today so a lot of you guys have been asking for some more makeup content so if that's something that you're interested in please let me know i had so much fun creating um this look and just kind of getting back into enjoying makeup again i feel like i kind of fell out of love with it for a while and i've just been really enjoying it again lately so let me know if it's something that you would like to see um and I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching my channel, and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye, guys.